Hello, I'm Ninjato, reviewing every episode of Bible Man because I want to. How can I review the first two episodes of the series? Unlike the previous episode I reviewed, these two episodes have very little plot for me to critique. It also doesn't help that the episodes are, of course, really bad and really weird. So let's dig into Bible Man, the big, big book, and Bible Man, back to school. So the first episode, Big Big Book, immediately show what you're about to experience with a song. Ever found a book that My. What would be another good word instead of God? The visuals are completely head scratch worthy. It's a bunch of video effects from the 90s that's completely unnecessary for a scene that comprise of kids sitting down and singing. Well, that was really, um... Forced and soulless. Well, I feel that it sounded, um... Lacks energy and having generic lyrics. Well, I think it sounded... interesting. Interesting because of the bleaching of the mind due to listening to this crap. As you can see, the acting is bad. The kids act like robots, even though some of them are trying somewhat, but they aren't given good directions. It doesn't help the fact that the writing is very forced. It doesn't have room for any characterization. The reason for this is that the story isn't actually the main focus of these two episodes. No, these videos are part of a special category in the musical genre called song videos. Yes, we're calling it that. Song videos are essentially the reverse of a musical. While a musical have a lot of song and dance sequences to help tell a story, a song video is essentially an album with brief moments of story to connect loosely one song to another. The strength of a song video relies on a variety of topics and song styles, which these episodes failed. How? Well, 99% of the songs sing about one thing. Do you want to know what they're about? It's the book. The book of books. The book of books. Have you guessed it yet? It's the book of life. It's the book of love. Do you get it yet? I got the book. is that the kids are getting stage fright. So Bible Man tells them a story about a time where he gets captured by Dr. Decepto, which he survived a large drop into his prison, and he also didn't notice the door right behind him that he could easily get out of. Through the power of, uh, something, Dr. Decepto is defeated. The kids are encouraged by this and do their concert, during which Bible Man shows up again with his theme song on, and after the concert, Miles Peterson comes back and tries to be the comic relief. I hate it when that happens. That's the big, big book. Now let's go back to school. At this point, the creative team figured out that having a bunch of songs about the Bible isn't a good idea. What's their solution? Well, just interrupt the video by having story segments with the song going on in the background. It still doesn't fix the problem. The plot is that Modern Bliss becomes the only villain who figured out who Bible Man is. So she kidnapped him. And for what purpose? I just have to disappoint all the little kitties at the school tonight. And his reputation will be ruined. kids' main plot is that they're going to perform a concert about the Bible in their local school. Don't worry, parents. Next week is the Quran. We also have two new members to this crew of memorable characters who will never show up ever again. Meanwhile, at the school, we meet two boys seeing a poster for the upcoming Bible Man concert. I love it when famous guys don't show up. Then you can boo and hiss and stuff. 
Who in their right mind wants to do that? Who wants to boo or hiss when somebody doesn't show up? The other boy says that Bible Man will show up, so they bet their comics on. Meanwhile, Miles wakes up due to Buzz's taunting and having a hard time saying her name right. Madam Glitz. 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 While Bliss is bragging about... something. Oh, be that as it may, soon everyone will be watching me and you'll be just a memory. Seriously, would that get up? Back at school... Ha ha. One of the performers have the bright idea of telling the audience that Bible Man hasn't shown up yet. Stupid. stupid. How do you spell stupid? After a couple of songs, including... Well, it's time to get started, man. Open the book. You know Swing music? Did. Bible Man gets out of his conundrum. How did he do it? Well, by praying, of course. That makes the ropes magically fall off. You'd think they would've gone with an angel showing up, the ropes being loosened, or even having a pocket knife in his back, which you think he suddenly remembers, which could lead to a joke. But nope, they went with the ropes magically unwind themselves without any effort from our hero. Bible Man then confronts Modern Bliss, which ends very anticlimactically with her being sucked into a TV, which will most likely have her starved to death, and the TV will permanently have a skeleton in it. So, did Bible Man make it back in time for the concert? talks about how awesome is the Bible. Thank you for letting me come into your school today. And remember, to read God's Word, it's the greatest book of all. Another song. This comment with my punchline. Comic books are tame compared to this stuff. I think I'm going to go out and get me a Bible. Cool idea! Me too! Let's get the comic book bible! Yes, I'm gonna do a review of it. Final boring speech. And one more song. These episodes suck! Even by song video standards, it's bad. The acting of the kids were horrible, the stories were non-existent, especially in the first one, and the songs were painful to listen to. I'm the Holy Ninja, and I hope we get to the good episodes soon. The Bible man's coming, so you better stick around. Episode is coming to your town. A whole lot of fun with the greatest book of all. Yeah, the Bible man's coming and it's gonna be a ball. Go get everyone you know. Cause it's just about time for the Bible man show. It's the Bible, it's the Bible, it's the Bible man show. We're learning how to live and we're learning how to grow. Storytelling, picture painting, grooving, don't you know? Everybody get ready for the Bible man show. Everybody get ready for the Bible man show.